Hey, Stroke Lines, and uh, I just found this function. It's pretty cool. It um, it'll allow you to decide if you want to in, uh, import and have your uh, functions like out of your library, or um, you can pick and choose what files you want. So your functions and your labels can be uh, used in your IntelliSense. And so this is the this is the function you first call this build user hk api dot hk. Um, and so what you do is first save this file somewhere in your computer, I put it in my library, and then you need to call it once, right? And and I say once, but the once would be the initial time, and then if you have new stuff, of course, to add to it, you'd have to call it again. Um, here, here I'm, this is the function, right? I'm calling, um, this is where I decided, because you can point it to a folder, or you can point it to specific files, I decided to point it to my, li my main library folder. Um, let me pop that open real quick here. So, I have a a lot of different library files I I have you know that I can easily call and use in reference. Um, the problem is, of course, the functions in those libraries don't come up in my IntelliSense, and so that's what this is going to um, fix. So I point to that folder well, um, here, and th this is where you pass it some parameters. Right, the first one, and I put it right up here in, in this example here. So you can overwrite the given file or not. One will overwrite zero is no, and because I was um, a appending to it, I didn't want to overwrite the initial file each time, right? I was pointing it, and, and I ran into an issue where when I was getting the labels, the very next one is recurse includes, I'm sorry, the first one, yes, I want to I want to recurse all the includes, meaning, hey, if, if that function that it's in called another function, go ahead and follow it, um, and did I want to include labels or not, and here I decided to say no, I, I don't want to have the labels, because I don't know why, but it was erroring out and it didn't build my uh, my file for me, which I'll talk about in a second here. And then, how where do you want to wrap, line wrap stuff, um, and this I'll show you also what it's doing. But this is where, now I in, I have a custom folder where I've installed site, um, and so it, it it's on a specific spot on my computer. Yours is going to be different where you're going to tell it, but basically you're going to look for this site custom, actually um, you probably don't have that folder. I created it and then I create a variable telling site um, to use this as the default folder, but basically probably where you have site installed, that's what you're going to point to and you're going to save it as this user.hk.api file, right? After I've run my script, it generated this file and this is where it, it looks kind of crazy, right, to me. Um, but each line here tells you, okay, this this is the the file it came from. I had a I had a function called table, um, and I'm sorry, I had a file called table.hk. Inside that file, I had this function, and here are the parameters. Here are the things that I've has labeled out. And then this is this is the part where I was talking about what to wrap, right? And so my guess is that every 256 characters it's going to probably throw in a, a slash n. I didn't actually look at it um, to, to check that, but so so here's another slash n, right? So every 256, and that 256, I say that because... Where is it? Um, right back here is where I had set it to 265. Um, so you run this one time, and then after you run it, um, you don't have to call this again unless you add new functions in your library and of course like I said you can point to specific files you can call this independently a couple times if you wanted um, but what's cool is let's uh, actually let's let's use this as a cheat sheet right we'll come back here um, and so I have a bunch that start with table right so we can just see that so if I come in here and I start typing table of course now it's not gonna work oh because it, it doesn't know it's um, let, me, let me here we go let me try it here so see my table and see all these functions here. What's really cool is like they bring them up here, which is handy. But after I hit enter and I put in my paren, now this is where you can see. I can see the the different parameters I need to type. I can see the um, comments that were also included there to help me understand how to use it. The only thing I'd say that, that an Auto Hockey Studio does is as you as you enter each one. So if I type table here, um, oh and look, it even. Uh, that was a bad example because uh, let's go back to this. Here we go. So as I start typing column, it, it doesn't matter. It's trying to offer up stuff, but it doesn't keep up that IntelliSense. I think I can hit Control Control Enter. Is it Alt Enter? There's something that'll bring back that IntelliSense. That was that was Control Spacebar. Um, 
So I, I, I wish it, it didn't do that the same, um, as it does. But again, the fact that now I can, like I have a bunch of Excel functions, right? I can pull them up and I don't have to go hunt for them and look at what's in there, right? This is, this is going to save me a ton of time programming. Thanks. Oh, um, I'll link to the, the, the locations of this file, but um, you can get it off the forum um, here. It's on the old forum, I believe.